What is going on guys? My name is Sarshak Samir and welcome back to Techies Coding Arena YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can enable cost policy in .NET Core API. So let's go ahead and get started. So guys, uh, what I am trying to do is, first of all, let's uh, go ahead and reproduce this issue. So for that, I have a uh, very simple ASP.NET Core API project. Uh, in it, as you can see, I have a tutorial controller class. Uh, so, in this controller, uh, I have a get method so that uh, when I, whenever I call this get method from my Angular application, uh, this uh, object will get returned. So, uh, this object contains home to subscribe uh, property and the value is take is coding arena. So let, let's go ahead and see how the Angular application looks like. So here uh, I have set it up everything, set up everything for you guys. So um, uh, as you can see here uh, in, in app component.ts, what I'm doing is I'm having a test values variable right here. And in ng on it, I'm trying to do a get request as you can see get values for testing. Um, uh, so it will it will call that uh, it will call this uh, API method uh, so that I can display uh, the value of this response. So if you take a look at the HTML part, so once I get the response, I'm assigning that uh, value to test values. So uh, you can see that right Re response dot home to subscribe value is assigned to test values and. Uh, this HTML contains uh, that test value so it will get printed on the web page saying like please subscribe to my channel so let's let's uh, run the API project so as you can see uh, it is going to run and uh, let's let's wait for a while uh, to get started uh, yeah here we go so if I, if I put a no need to put a debug even you can see that without any issues this API call is working as because it's because uh, I have uh, configured API slash tutorial as the default URL so this API is working as expected so let's go ahead and try to um, try let's go ahead and try to use this API method from our uh, angular project so I have I, I already served the application you can see it right so it is running on um, HTTP localhost 4200 so if I run this uh, you can see please subscribe to my channel is here but I don't get any values so let's put a debugger point so whenever it succeeds we know that it hits that particular method so if you inspect inspect the element uh, you can see in the console uh, something like this so HTTP uh, request at blah blah from origin blah blah has been blocked by cause policy no access control allowing origin header is present on the request resource so this is the issue um, uh, everyone will face when it comes to the interaction with uh, API so let's go ahead and try to resolve it so uh, I would like to um, give a brief introduction about oh, inter in the sense brief understanding on why this is happening and what this cost policy is all about so yeah um, why why we get why we get this error so the reason for this is that a web browser in this case this Google Chrome will only allow communication between two URLs if they belongs to same origin so as you can see this is a different origin and this is a different origin so these two are not same origin so this browser will not allow the communication between these two URLs so you can see it right in this example we have a client at HTTP localhost 4200 and which cannot communicate with the server app which has HTTPS localhost 44303 as they belongs to different origin so this is what we call same origin policy 
which helps preventing malicious script scripts from uh, harming other documents on the web but there are some cases where cross domain scripting is required for an example in this case we need that so cross origin resource sharing is a mechanism to bypass the same origin policy of a web browser yeah so let's go ahead and see how we can achieve that yeah so let me i'm going to stop this um api project and if you take a look at this startup class we have configure service and configure methods so in this configure services we need to add a service uh, that is known as add course uh, to the container so let's go ahead and uh, do that so services dot add course here you can specify specify a policy name so let's do that add policy so the name uh, can be anything that's based on your preference so in this case i'm going to put tca policy um, and in the second argument i need to configure the builder um, so sorry about that um, let, so that i can allow uh, any headers uh, any origin by the way any origins uh, to this uh, web api code so builder dot allow any origin dot allow any method dot allow any header so now uh, we, we are already allowing everything uh, to this uh, web api project so allow any origin allow any header allow any method so now what we can do is uh, there are various way of doing it so i'm going to show you the most recommended way that is what i'm showing you here so if you need to allow this policy for a uh, for, for some controllers for some action methods then what you will do is uh, you will you will enable it in this way uh, for example uh, let's say i need to apply that course in tutorial controller so what i'll do is i'll put enable course uh, and in it i will specify the i need to specify the policy name uh, same as like here so if I, now i'm allowing course policy uh, to this controller so whenever i am accessing this controller action methods from uh, from from my angular application it will allow uh, me to go ahead and get the values so let's let's test that first and then i'll show you how we can enable it globally uh, so that you don't need to specify this enable course annotation in each and every controller so when it comes to the uh, angular application you need pretty much all the uh, all the controllers and action methods right so when it comes to the angular application you need all pretty much all the action methods and the controller for your web application so it is it is good if we can apply it globally so that you don't need to provide uh, control controller by controller uh, as uh, for controller by controller this policy so uh, let's go ahead and run the application. I'm going to refresh the Angular app as well. So, as you can see, once I refresh the Angular app, it hit this method. So, that means it is now allowing. So, the value is printed here as expected. So, please subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to my YouTube channel. The name is Techis Coding Arena, which is coming from my server side. So, this is the one way of achieving it. So, uh, that's another way another way in the sense the same way but instead of specifying the enable course in each and every controller what i can do is i can globally specify right here like uh, let me uh, put it um, here so i can say here to use the course globally right so here i can specify in this way and i need to provide the name as is yeah. 
now uh, let me uh, run the API project so let's give a couple of seconds and uh, yeah, this is um, this debugger heated by the web API itself .NET Core, SP.NET Core API itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the Angular application so again you see that uh, the action method get hit so so as you can see uh, it, it, it got printed yeah so when you specify this globally you don't have to specify in each and every controller so there are a lot of way of doing and achieving it so even you can specify the URL in the startup class so that it will allow only that origin so when it comes to the uh, API and Angular application this is how uh, we normally do these things so yeah uh, that's all for this tutorial and thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button see you in the next see you in the next tutorial